This video is going to be a step by step beginner friendly tutorial for this beautiful look. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you all are doing fine and you know by the title what we are going to do today and I'm super 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 excited to share this video with you all because we all know it has been a wedding season for a long long time and I felt this was the perfect time to share a newly wed bridal makeup look. Now this is the look that I came up with and I hope you all are liking this look. I've used all very very affordable products products yet products that are really good quality and are gonna last you a long long time okay now this is a look that is gonna suit any ethnic outfit that you're wearing be it suit an arkali sari or anything for that matter this look is gonna look absolutely pretty with anything so i will mention the prices of all the products here on the screen and links in the description box down below so make sure you check them out so yeah, if you want to know how I created this makeup look, then keep on watching this video till the very end. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sona Mishra. I post beauty and lifestyle content here on my channel. So please take out a moment and hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is on Tuesdays and Saturdays and shorts almost daily. So yeah, now without any further blabbering, let's just dive right into this video. So let's start with the makeup. Now before beginning with the makeup, the first and the most important step would be to moisturize your skin and your lips as well so that your skin doesn't dry out and you get that beautiful glow and healthy skin. So for moisturizer, I'm using the Pond Super Light Gel. Now you all know that I absolutely love this moisturizer. I have used tubs and tubs of this moisturizer. I don't even remember how much. So now that my skin is moisturized, I'll quickly prep my lips as well. For that, I'm using the Plum Candy Mills Lip Balm. Again, one of my absolute favorites. Now my skin is all prepped and ready for the makeup. So the first and the very important step is priming. Now you might think that you can skip on primers, but I would suggest you not to because primers do play a very, very important role in holding your makeup and making it even long lasting and plus it hides all the pores and the texture that you have on your skin so that your makeup looks very very flawless you can either go for a dewy base if you want that glowing skin or you can go for a matte primer or pore filling primer now i'm going to use both of these primers so firstly i'm using this inside cosmetics primer now this is a silicone based primer and it fills your pores beautifully so i'm applying it on my t-zone which tend to secrete oil more than my rest of the face and also so that my pores are beautifully filled in and i get that smooth canvas to work on now i will use the swiss beauty real base makeup primer now this is kind of a strobe cream so you can either mix it with your foundation or you can use it directly before your foundation also you can use it as a liquid highlighter on top of your foundation as well so today i'm going to apply it only on the high points of my face you can see how beautiful my skin is glowing it looks very glow from within. It does not have any chunky glitter particles. It just looks like a subtle glowing skin. Mm -hmm. Now for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. For a newly wedded bride, this foundation is absolutely perfect because it gives a pretty decent coverage and it has a very beautiful matte finish. It does last on your skin for a long, long time and it does not oxidize as well. So you can definitely check this foundation out and it is also very, very affordable. So I'm going to dot it all over my face. Now using a damp beauty blender, I will blend it all out. Now make sure while you're blending your foundation, you use very gentle dabbing motion and you do not drag your foundation. Otherwise, your foundation will not give you an even coverage. And also the second most important tip is to use a damp beauty blender so that your blender does not absorb a lot of product and with the damp beauty blender you tend to get a more even and flawless finish so now my foundation is blended now for concealer i am using the maybelline fit me concealer 
it is a medium coverage concealer now you can skip on concealer if you think your skin doesn't need it and foundation has done the job so yeah uh, first point is to always apply concealer on your under eyes because even if a little bit but you still have pigmentation under your eyes and using a concealer covers it up and it gives your base a more flawless finish so that's that and then you can use the concealer on all the areas that you have marks or spots now again i'm using the same beauty blender to blend out the concealer as well now again you have to use gentle dabbing motions and you do not have to drag your concealer so now concealing is done now my marks are still a little bit visible but i feel uh, for a daily basis i do not need a very very heavy base if you are not that comfortable you can definitely go ahead with a full coverage concealer and conceal them all or you can also use a color corrector beneath your foundation but i think this will do for me now the next step would be to pack in all the areas uh, where you have applied concealer that is the most important part and you need to do it quickly so that your concealer doesn't start creasing now you can use the same beauty blender or you can use a powder brush now for powder i'm using this wet and wild contour palette uh, this has a beautiful banana powder here you can use any compact or loose powder and you need to dab it on the areas you have applied concealer for powder uh, you could have used a translucent powder as well but using a banana powder it instantly brightens up your under eyes you can see and so yeah that is why i prefer using banana powder when i'm not highlighting my under eyes using another shade of concealer so yeah the under eyes are set properly now we move on to giving the dimensions back to our face now for that you need a contour blush and a highlighter now i would suggest you to invest in a palette that has all three and this palette from sugar cosmetic is absolutely stunning now i have two shades from this this one i recently bought in the shade 03 fierce feet and it is very very pretty this blush is very very pigmented and beautiful coral color it has firstly i'll contour using this powder i'm not giving any sharp contour because i don't feel it looks good on a everyday basis so i'll just lightly dust this powder across the perimeters of my face just to give it a bronzed and a more structured look now from the same palette i'm using this shade for my blush now it is a very very pigmented color so make sure you dab the excess on the back of your hand and apply it on your cheekbones you can take it down to the apples of your cheek now coming to the highlighter i'm using the highlighter from the same palette and i'll highlight the high points of my face just a little bit now this highlighter is very very subtle it is not very blinding and it is perfect for that beautiful glow yet not very overpowering so it is perfect for an everyday highlighter so yeah the base is done now i will quickly set my base using a makeup fixer now this makeup fixer is from swiss beauty it is a beautiful makeup fixer and very very affordable it sets your makeup amazingly well so i'll spritz that now this makeup fixer does has a fragrance to it so if you are not comfortable with fragrance so you can check out another makeup fixers now i will let it dry now once it is semi dry i'll just dab on a beauty blender across my whole face just to blend all the powders in together now my base is complete and now moving on to the eye makeup now i believe a newlywed would mostly wear a sari or a suit and indian attire and beautiful coal eyes look very very pretty on every indian outfit so that is what we are going to do we'll keep a very heavy coal on our eyes and very little eye shadow and it will look beautiful and uh, let's just begin firstly we'll do our eyebrows and for that i'm using this sugar arc arrival brow definer so i will brush my hair with a spoolie now i will fill my eyebrow using the same pencil eyebrows done now moving on to the eye i'm using this kajal pencil from shambor now starting from my upper lash line i will draw a very rough line it doesn't have to be neat because we will smudge it now i will take a very precise brush and i will smudge it upwards a little bit just to diffuse the ends now that that's done i will take the same contour shade from the palette and i will apply it on my crease 
diffusing it with the kajal it is kind of a quick and easy smoky eye now i'll do the same to my lower lash line as well i've applied the kajal on my waterline now i will take it a little bit down on my lower lash line as well keeping it thicker or towards the outer end now again with the same brush i will diffuse it more so towards the outer corner now again taking the same contour shade and running it slightly on the lower lash line and it is done it was so so quick and easy and it looks very very beautiful now the last step to enhance the eye look even more would be to curl your lashes and apply mascara for mascara i'm using this mars cosmetics mascara now this is very very affordable mascara and it does wonders to your lashes so i'm applying mascara only to my upper lashes and not my lower lashes now i'll quickly do the same on the other eye and i'll be right back i'll quickly highlight the brow bone and the inner corner and now the last thing left is the lipstick now it's up to you if you want to go all red because of course you are a newly wed bride and red lipstick would look absolutely stunning on you so the red lipstick that i have here for you is from faces canada weightless matte lipstick this is in the shade bombshell red 09 this shade is very very pretty i'll just apply it and use you can see how pretty this red shade look it is very very pretty it is not that too red kind of red it is not maroonish red it is somewhere in the between it is very very pretty and i feel this red shade would look pretty on every indian skin tone so you can definitely try your hands out on this bombshell red from faces canada you can go nude on your lips now you can apply any nude lipstick that you like i have recently shared my top favorite affordable nude lipstick so you can check out the video here i will leave it on red today because i feel this looks very very pretty and also with my green sari this red looks very very complimenting and uh, yeah so i think the last step that remains is a bindi and it absolutely ties the entire look together and gives that extra indian touch I'll quickly add a pair of jhumkas. So the look is all complete. I have opened my hair. You can definitely go ahead and tie your hair whatever way you want to. You can go for a beautiful braid, a bun, or whatever you like. You can uh, accent them with a uh, little red flowers on the bun. It will look very very nice. But I think the look turned out really really pretty. What do you think so? <laughs> like this look i tried to keep all the products as affordable as possible and yet very good quality this makeup will last you a long long time and i'm sure you're going to slay this look with whatever ethnic outfit you're wearing and uh, you're going to look beautiful as a newly wed uh, so try this look out and let me know how you like this look in the comment box below yeah with this we come to the end of today's video i hope you like this video and if you did please consider hitting the like button and let me know in the comment box below if you want me to do any other makeup look or any other video for that matter i will be happy to i keep posting makeup tutorials makeup looks hauls and a lot of different content related to beauty and lifestyle so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please take out a moment and click that red button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell right next to it so that you get notified every time i upload a new video now i will see you super super soon in my next video till then stay safe stay healthy bye bye